And um, the way that you've seen education today, is that um, how important is college uh, for you when it comes to your kids? With the way that it's structured, how expensive it's gotten, all the alternatives that we're seeing coming up. Like, where do you, where do you I guess, you and your wife stand on, on a college education today? Yeah, I think uh, for me specifically, it, it gave me perspective. Um, you know, it, 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 is so, it, it got me in touch with professors and other people that had a different lifestyle than I did growing up. So it gave me a different perspective on things, kind of like the military. So the military also gave me, gave me a world perspective. So, so I really thank the military for that, for giving me a broader perspective in, in life. And, and, and I would say for, for college the same way. Um, my, my wife is an educator. So, you know, just you can tell that that's, that's mm-hmm. where she leans towards. I'm, I'm, I'm a big proponent of education. Now, you don't necessarily have to get it from a university, um, but you have to have a really good alternative and you have to be plugged into education in some way, shape, or form. Right. You know, especially for a young kid of 18 who really has no direction. You know, we try to teach our, our son goals and, and making sure you're setting goals and, and seeing into your future. What is it that you really like? What is it that gets you up in the morning that you would like to see long term? That, that when you get up, it won't be a job, but it'll be something you like mm-hmm. to do. And you happen to get paid for it. Right. Because it has to be hand in hand. I don't want a starving artist. I want somebody yeah. who get, who's getting paid. So if he's going to tell me, well, I want to do X, um, I'm going to tell him, well, you got to be the best at X, Mm -hmm. right? So we've had conversations about, like, he wants to be, uh, he he really likes soccer, right? He wants to be the best at soccer. So I've told him, this is how it works for sports and for everything in life. This is how it works. You have to be the best in your team. First of all, be the best in your household. (laughs) Then you got to be the best in your team. Once you're the best in your team, you got to be the best in that um, in in that region. If you're the best in the region, then you got to be the best in the state, in the national, so on and so forth. So you always have to strive to to be the best in whatever uh, area you 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 decide to go through. But that's going to also indicate if you're going to have longevity. Is if you have if you're the best in your team, but you're not the best in the region. So that, that's as far as you're going to take it. Right. So let, let's, let's shift somewhere else, right? So what is it that you're really good at that you, can, that you are also passionate about that can also get you money, right? <laughs> what, is, what, is that, what is that little niche, right? Find that and let's go for it. But if you're telling me that it's X and I don't have to go to college, okay, so, so how are you going to learn that? How are you going to plug into that to be the best? 